Hi there, this is Toby. I hope you are doing great and everything is fine. At the beginning of this training video, I want to thank everybody who is giving me some a voluntary donation for my voluntary work. You can imagine it's really a bunch of work keeping everything up to date, thinking about new things the community could uh, need. And yeah, there's a lot of things ongoing you don't realize. But yeah, it's a lot of work and I, I really appreciate your support. And I thank everybody who is supporting me. Thanks. And um, as a gift, I will now make a new project, which will go through a few applications in OpenFoam. And I want to show you how to use them or at, at, at least what is the purpose of these applications. And today, as it is already on my background, we will talk about set set, very short and straightforward. I don't want to waste anybody's time. And uh, for set set, set set is an application which is actually built to build, uh, yeah, it's, it's built to cre create cell and face sets. So the first thing you should check out is the open phone wiki and then you can uh, use or search for set set and here you get like an overview about the options. Of course, I think the options are, are a bit outdated and how you have to use it. Yeah? And what is the purpose? Actually, we can make cell and face zones for selecting different cells or yeah, actually different cells and faces within our domain. And just imagine you have a source term and you want just to have the source term on special on a special area, which includes, I don't know, 50 cells, which yeah, an area which is like based on a, on a sphere or a cylinder. And you want to include all these uh, cells within the cylinder and you want to add some source term with a few options, you can use uh, set set to create the cell set and then subsequent the cell zone. Or the cell sets and cell zones are also used for um, function objects. Think about you want to um, evaluate some averaged quantity somewhere in your domain, then you can use set set as well. Okay, so how to use it? Actually, I prepared some very small test case, which I want to present now. And it's very straightforward. What I'm doing is um, I will just, I will just um, stop here. So I'd show you the background mesh. So this is our background mesh. And within this background mesh, I have two geometries, a sphere and a channel, which I want to go into mesh. And so the, the sphere is inside this channel. And what I want to do is I want to mesh both. And then I want to split. Um, I want to split. Um, I want to have two cell zones here, a fluid cell zone and a solid cell zone, which I want to split with split mesh, mesh regions. And yeah, I want to show you how to use set set for this purpose. In order to make it very easy, um, actually you do the following. You, you load your STLs, right, into snappy hex mesh. And normally you are doing um, the following, so you, you mesh your channel and your sphere and you say it like this and then you mesh it, snap the hex mesh. And the outcome is something which we uh, already know. So we, we have our channel here, nice, and if you cut through for some reason, this sphere is cut it out. 
but it's clear because the sphere does not belong to this um, channel. And I said the location point in mesh is somewhere in this channel. And the sphere is like uh, not connected to this channel area. And that's why snappy hex mesh is cutting it out. Um, but this is not what I want to have, right? I want to have, I want to have like um, this this area too because I need it um, in a subsequent conjugated heat transfer, for example. So what we are going to do is um, we are simply saying, okay, please, snappy X mesh. This sphere is not cut out. It's a cell zone uh, with an cell uh, face zone. And if you are good in snappy hex mesh, you will already realize that there is something with this solid. I was too late, doesn't matter. And yeah, so if we update it, you see we have this solid zone now um, in our mesh. And now we can split it. So I just remove every, all the meshes. I uh, let snappy hex mesh again running with overwrite so that the mesh is written to the constant poly mesh folder and overrides our background mesh. So if we do so, um, uh, I want to split mesh regions, right? It tells me, oh, sorry, there is nothing to split. We only have one domain. And uh, you can also check it out. If you use check mesh, it will tell you, look, we have only one cell zone and actually we have only one region. So there is nothing um, to split right now. We can also use cell zones only, um, but this requires that all cells have to be assigned to a cell zone. The problem is that we have only one cell zone here, which is the solid cell zone, but this fluid uh, so these uh, cells which are in the channel are not assigned to a cell zone. So therefore we can use set set and wait, wait, set set. And then we can make a new, a new um, cell set like uh, in that way. So we, we added a new um, cell set, which is in this location now. You can also check this location and you will see that we have a file here, which has zero um, cells included. Then we add cells. So you can add this. And if you just type like foobar, you will get the options you have. So we will use a box to sell. I will just make a, a very big box, right, around everything, which now includes all our cells. If we check out check mesh again, you see we have the same amount of cells now. So actually, all these cells are assigned to this fluid set. And what we are just having to do is we delete this solid part. And afterward, we just convert this fluid set into a cell zone. So, and then we can quit it. And if you go to cell zones, you see we have now two cell zones. The first one is the solid, which has 1,952. And this was not the right one, this. And we have a second one, which is fluid, which has 22,000 almost of cells included. So, and now we can make split mesh mesh regions cell zones only and voila we are there if we are going to paraview again 
and we we just delete this and we load our file again and we go to so wait there was a mistake of course overwrite it And now you see that we have this solid internal mesh and this fluid internal mesh. If I will delete the constant poly mesh, it gets even more clearer that we only that we have now two regions. We have this solid internal mesh and this fluid internal mesh. And of course the solid is the solid here, and the fluid is the fluid one without having the solid inside. And of course ZZ is very handsome. Um, I'm using only ZZ dict, so it's just a file you can name it arbitrarily where you add your comments and then you can for example run ZZ in a batch mode where it is loading a file and then make the appropriate modifications to your mesh. And ZZ is very powerful, so this um, tutorial is uh, I will upload, which is a conjugated heat transfer tutorial. And if you go through this run script, we will find that first I built here with ZZ this fluid zone, which I showed you now. And afterwards I generate in this solid region I build a new cell zone which is used for FE options in order to apply a local source term to four cells. I think. That's everything about set set. I hope you enjoyed, you learned something out of that. And of course I, I would just want to mention it. Um, there are other possibilities or, or ways uh, how to get this um, um, channel or this fluid region. However, if you would just think, okay, I want to I wanna do it like this, you can check it out yourself. You will see it will not work. Um, however, oh, one other possibility could be to use it like this. I didn't check it, but I think this should work too. But based on the fact that I wanted to show you some example of a set set, um, this is how it goes. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you could get something out of that. Please share my work if you think it's worth it. Um, follow me on all everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, uh, LinkedIn or whatever. Subscribe to my newsletter and if you find any problems, mistakes, uh, do not hesita hesitate and let me know. I wish you everything, all the best and see you soon. Um, bye bye guys.